everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. What's up? We're so glad you stopped by. We wanted to um, welcome you to our Triple T. It's a little late in the evening. Yeah. See, we got off a little late tonight and we're just trying to get this video in because we know um, we have some, we had some questions that was asked and we have some um, other information we wanted to share with you all. Yeah, well, it's a pretty hot day today, but we made it. Yes. Thank the Lord. We hope everyone is doing well and healthy. If everyone, if for any reason you're not in good health or you're going through something, we pray that God works it out. We know he will. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're going to get into um, this video. So first, I wanted to talk about a commentary because we get a lot of questions about do you have to have a commissary? Do you have to have one? Where is one? How do I find one? Okay, so we have, um, when you go on Google, I searched and I typed in the kitchen door. And if you type in the kitchen door and you put your city and your state, it will give you a list of all the commissaries that's in your area verified some unverified of course i will check the verified you know and then you go and look at them and choose which one you feel is best have the best price you know and it goes from there that is um for your food truck and your food trailer you go there you know the commissary is you go there so you can cook clean your you know meat get everything prepared you know, get your water and all this other stuff you have Just to have. do everything you need to do. Mm -hmm. You right do there. everything you have to do right there and then to get you started for your day and everything. So remember, it's the kitchen door. When you put it in the, after you go on Google or whatever search engine you look under, we did Google. So you put in the kitchen door, your city and state. If you can't find any in your city, check a neighbor city that's near you like we we're here in west palm beach you know a neighboring city to us would be um boca you know because they have some in boca Raton. so if you want to check a neighboring city and see if it has one that's not too far from you mm -hmm. so that is something um we wanted to share with you all and you want to say anything else about that no also another help is called biz um help is biz help consulting and they have so many resources for you on that site here in florida well here in palm beach county is biz help pbc.com and it has so many um resources that are available for um from SBA loans, if that's something that you're interested in, um, webinars, virtual events, you know, guidance on safety for your reopening. If you haven't reopening opened yet, they have so much information on that site that can help you with your business, and it's free. You also, I don't know right now if you could just walk right into those um, places. But you can call and you probably can set up an appointment and you can go in and, you know, talk with somebody one on one. What they do is help you with the resources that you need, but they're not going to do it for you. They'll help you find what you need, whether it's for your um, starting up or if you are trying to maintain after this restart, because that's some, that's what we're going to call it you know, a restart when we go back out because we haven't been out in months. So when we go back out, it's going to be like a re-grand opening, you know? Yeah, a grand opening for everybody. Yes. So that's something that we're going to have to do. And it also keeps you, that side, um, the biz help, it also keeps you updated on a lot of things that's going on as far as business. 
you know, the rules and the business, you know, things and everything. Okay, so those were two very important things that we get a lot of questions on. How can I get help? Where can I find help? Those, those two places can give you a lot of help and especially with the commissaries. So anybody need, I mean, anybody have any questions about where we get our trailer from? The writing on our trailer, who built our trailer, how it was built. It was custom built. My husband designed it and they did what we wanted. Yeah. And that, we'll leave that information in the description below in case anyone wanted that information. Cool? It's good. He's keeping me on track. Yeah. Okay. Also, we got our POS point of sale system from our bank. Make sure you find the best one that works for you. Ours work great for us. Yeah, they're really good. Yes. So that's where we got ours from. I know a lot of people ask us, where do we get it from? I know some people use their, use, uh, it's a little, uh, I don't know, a little adapter or something to hook to the phone and they can take payments like that. Whichever way is easy for you all to work, you do that. That's the main thing. As long as you get the money. Because you all are going to be running the business, not us. We're just giving you some ideas of what how we run things. Also, with the point of sale, we had a, question, a few questions about the taxes. Okay, so we charge taxes with our business when you come in to purchase food. Everybody charge taxes. They charge taxes at every restaurant far as I know. Because if you don't get them now, you pay them later. Yes. So that money that you charge tax, it's an app on the POS that will hold the money that you paid, that was paid taxes to you for your business and hold it aside and send it off supposedly for the taxes. We don't do that. At the end of our um, month, we find out our sales. We know our sales is on our point of sales machine. We do all of that information and we pay our taxes from there. That's how we do our. And just like you want your money, the government won't hit it. And they're going to hit it. That is true. Yes. And I, I spoke with the tax office and they said that you know, sometimes those machines, those apps don't do what they're supposed to do or they have glitches and stuff. So on the safe side, that's where we do it. I guess I'm old school and that's how it works. So just a word to the wise. If it works good for you, then you do it. Works good for us is to take the taxes out at the end of the month and go ahead and pay it. Take the taxes out as we go week by, as we go weekly and then at the end of the month, we'll have it and we go from there. Right? Yep. Okay. We'll have no problem. We'll have any problems. Okay. Buying equipment. We want to talk about that a little bit. It's according to what type of equipment you have or you want for what, your business. What kind of equipment your generator call for the room? Mm -hmm. You know, you can get too small if mm -hmm. you got a lot of current coming from that. Mm -hmm. And a work right. Yes. We, ours call for 10,000 watts. And it's loud. I know you all have seen our videos and we've got some little comments telling us your generator is kind of loud. You know, mm -hmm. you know what? Our customers come to us talking loud. They want their food. They know. I'm sorry about the sound, but <laughs> yes. it, it get me through the day. Yes. Sometimes it becomes that, as, as someone said, white noise. You don't hear it. And, you know, it's, it's further back from the trailer, but you still hear the noise when they come up and make place they order. So until we can find a, a suitable cover for it. Well, I'm, I'm working on that now, you know. Yes. And I stop that, you know. Chef is on it. I have a cover you that can get one. Make. Yes, yeah, so we can cover it. 
and don't have to worry about so much noise. So hopefully we'll have that um, done. And I need a little noise for us. Somebody will probably, you know, probably fall asleep. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. So as far as <laughs> and and the equipment that you get, all the equipment you have, all your um equipment. Something we want to share with you, and we talked about this in a prior video. I, everybody want their trailer to look straight into the T. When we first started, it, it was some little, you know, some little hiccups and we just used what we had, right? Yeah. We used what we had and kept working and got better. So you don't have to go out and buy the most high price equipment and everything. Get something you know, of course, get something that's going to work for your business and choose the right price because you want to make sure yeah. you have the right um, equipment and not spinning over. Then it's about like a baby. You have to, you know, ask the baby grow. Mm -hmm. So you have to run a business like that. Mm -hmm. You can't do it all one time. That's true. You have to just nurse it to get where you want it. That is true. That is true. So that's something we want to share with you all about buying equipment. And look around. Don't just stop at the first place, which I'm quite sure you all do that. But don't just stop at the first place and just say, okay, you know what? This is it. We're going to get this and that's it. Because so. I have did it in some time. It didn't work out. No comment. But at that time, I want it right then. And, mm -hmm. and get it home and get it hook up and everything. Sometimes it kind of put a little frown on my face. <laughs> I messed up. Yes, it gives you, a, it's a strain. It's being too big a rush. True. And then you have to go about out, you have to go out and do what? Do it all over again. Yes, yeah, so. So this is just take it easy and be take, patient and mm -hmm. take your time. Take your time okay, and make good choices. If you're looking for a generator that mm -hmm. take you a week or something to try to find the right one. Mm -hmm. Just wait on it. Because it'll pay off in the long run. It will. It will. Because I bought one when I first got my trailer because I couldn't find the big one I got now. And I just bought this small one and it gave me a lot of problem and me and that generator fall out. We weren't friends no more. Yeah, it kept turning off. It, you know, had when it gets caught, it tripped the breaker box. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was called rush. And if anyone, and it was my fault. If anyone knows a man who's determined to get something started at any cost, I know one. And he was ready for it to start, so I know, he I know did. Too, but he don't come slow down. He changed a little bit. Yeah, yeah. slow down at the speed bumps to get top. That's good. That's good. Being determined is—it's nothing wrong with being determined, but you want to make smart choices. And that's the bumps in the road that you go through whenever you have a business. You go, you have bumps in the road because if you don't have the bumps, how are you gonna learn? How are you gonna be able to share with others? If everything is going smoothly, which no business, everything is going to run yeah, smoothly, but you're going to have bumps in the road. You have so much bumps in the road, look like you're going to get through it, but hold on. Yes. Yes. So that's our take on buying equipment for your business. Um, when it comes to supplies for your business, and I guess that's your food that you're going to cook, your paper towels, your napkins, your sanitizers, plates and, plates and all that and stuff. All that. Check around. We did, and we thanked him in the comments. We greatly appreciate yeah, thank you. Um, the subscriber, our subscriber that told us about the paper cups from our last video. We was asking, could someone share with us where can you get paper cups from? And he came forth with some great information and that is really going to help us because we saw the cups that we needed because we want to go to 
paper instead of styrofoam. So which we're we're looking around, you know, and I didn't know about that site. Mm. Yeah, so we're thankful for that. Greatly appreciate it. That's one thing about business. Other business, you know, mm -hmm. help other business. Just like a chain There you, you know? go. We're we're out here to help. Something can help mm -hmm. this business, you know, let them know. Definitely. They tell them to tell somebody else, you know. Mm hmm Because they didn't have any of these cups at Restaurant Depot or Sam's. Because everybody need a hip and hang. We all do. We all do. That's a, that's that's why we're here. And that's why we... And I say that again and again and again. That's why we started our page. Because we want to be a help to others. Yep. Mm hmm Okay. We also had a question about how do we keep our food hot or cool from traveling from point A to point B? How do we keep our food cool and warm? Well, sometimes how I do is I ain't going too long distance. I heat my grill up and I can set everything on the grill. Let's stay hot. Then if you got a, a box ice cooler, you know the mm -hmm. cold stuff, you put it in there. That's how I, that's how we do it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, you can also use your sink. You can stop your sink up and you can put ice in your sink, and you can keep your if you're going a further distance, you can put ice in your sink. And I know the trailers get pretty warm, but I'm just, you know, trying to find ideas. Uh, you're saying you just can't ride all day like that. No, that's not an all day thing. You know, if you got, if you have so like 30 minutes or 45 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. To to keep your food at a certain temperature. The right temperature, because you know temperature can put you out of bed. Definitely. We don't, um, and we had a question driving can we run our generator while we're driving down the road to keep the refrigerator and the warmer going which you can but i don't you know mm -hmm. probably you're just going for a little short distance you can like say that on the back of the truck mm -hmm. and leave it running because the cold long enough mm -hmm. like that but you know just going a long way no, I don't. I put the generator back inside and, you know, wait till I get back on this way I'm going and then set back up. Yes, because you, according to how far your distance is. So if you're going someplace and you have a long distance to go, the best thing to do is to keep your food cool and cook when you get there. Uh, either if you get your generator built into your trailer mm -hmm. or your truck, Mm -hmm. You can do that, but is it not? You have to move That's it around and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a deal in, you mm -hmm. can do it like that. You can leave it running and, you know. and go from there. Okay, that is true. Good point. Um, another question is: Do we have a wire that's on the trailer that when we hook up our trailer to our truck, that you know things come on in our trailer? No, no, we don't. The only have thing that. come on when I hook, hook down your trailer up just to break lights. And the lights run. That's the only thing it controls. Control, yes. It, it don't have nothing to do with the freezer rate or, or the warm or nut. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, we have another question. Going to events. Do we buy the food before we go to the event or if it's in another city or we wait until we get to the event in the area and we buy the food? The only time you can you run into, well, if you run into something like that, you know, if you go into an event and you already cook and kind of getting low, I see, you know, wherever you at in that time, you go buy something. But most time, you know, we have everything prepped and have it. Taking it, with, taking already taking it with us. Mm -hmm. yeah, but if you know if you're in the town and running low, it's okay to go. You know, stop back up. Probably cheaper over there. But you know, 
It best to be. But just starting out. It best to be ready when you get a place. Thank you. Because just starting out, you don't know what is going on in that city and you're yeah, familiar with yours. Schools could be closed or something. Then you drive all the way down and then you, you have a situation. Ride around and look for food and stuff. See that mess you up for that day or night. You get frantic. Pressure going to go up. You're going to so, get stressed. And you don't want to have that I have issue. To how, I have to say, like God said, be ready. I always be prepared. Yes. Ice is probably something that you can buy when you get to a certain place. No. If um, if, if you, you run out, if, if you, you're running low. If you can get ice, mm -hmm. take that with you. When you go on, try to carry the thing. You know, of course, but I'm just saying ice. You know, yeah, if you, you set up or something like that, because I know you know certain times you can go out, mm -hmm. they run out of ice. That's true. So that won't say if you can get it for where you at, mm -hmm. go ahead and help be stuck, be stock up. Okay. When you get where you're going, all you got to do is set up, and and then if you see you running low, you can do something like that. Well, that's the way we do it, and I see it work out there. Mm -hmm. So, that's our take on buying stuff there, opposed to buying it before you leave. And you're definitely going to need some coolers. You, coolers is a part of a food trailer. That's my, my thought process. Yeah, cooler really you, you have to have a cooler to... You keep your um, meats that's already wrapped up if you want it to, if you go on a long distance, or if you have your cold items and everything, you're keeping them at a certain temperature. You know, of course, you wrapping them where you're not going to have any issues. And even if you have, like, sodas, mm -hmm. you have, you know. Chilled and everything. So, um, those, those were... Um, some of the questions we so the last thing we want to talk about is going to get permits and licensing and getting your permit you could get it from your local C right in your area getting your licensing you will get from Tallahassee, which is where our capital is and wherever yours is. Mostly that's where it's going to come from as far as you getting that information with your trailer and doing your menu. your menu and designing and all that other information. So you could get all of that from there. It was um, one more mean? thing. Get me on that just when you put it together. Put your menu together. You got the, you know, like sign at Tom and Lamb, see where you selling and stuff. Okay, so we hope that this video helps you all out in some way. We thank you all for stopping by. It is Thursday talk time, our triple T with Chef CB and Lady Boss. We thank you for stopping by and be safe. Until next, blessings. Be blessed.